new barbecue. Now, things I want to do, and what I want to do tonight is make some skillet fajitas for dinner. Yeah, I call them skillet fajitas because they're not technically real fajitas because I'm going to be using some bottom round steak. Real fajitas are made with skirt steak. Yeah, chicken fajitas, those aren't real. Shrimp fajitas, those aren't real. Chorizo fajitas, those aren't real. Yeah, real fajitas are made with skirt steak. But hey, if you're not using skirt steak, you can use just about any kind of meat you want, all right? And uh, I like using beef fajitas, but if you use like the thin cuts of like bottom round steak or maybe top sirloin you might get, um, or you might get little thin cuts of Milanesa, those little thin cheap steaks you can get in the grocery store, they make great skillet fajitas. I'm gonna be using my field skillet, love my field skillet. Uh, Fields that sent it to me over a year ago, and uh, it's become one of my two favorite 12-inch skillets. I only got two 12-inch skillets. This is one of them. All right, I like using fajitas, and it has become my favorite fajita skillet. I just like the way the side slope on it. And, of course, it has a smooth bottom. Uh, my other skillet didn't come with a smooth bottom 15, 16 years ago, but it's got a smooth bottom now because I've used it a lot, right? So, anyway, um, I like to use a cast iron skillet for these. And I'm starting with bottom round steak. There's a picture of it right there. All right, and what I did is I put them in a marinade uh, a few hours ago. They don't have to be in a marinade long. You can use whatever favorite steak marinade you got. Do uh, Dale's is good, Moore's is good. These are in Allegro. Uh, you can use what I call the SWAT team. Sometimes I've done it that way. That's soy and Worcestershire and Tabasco with uh, uh, two parts Worcestershire, two parts uh, soy, one part Tabasco ratio. You know, that'd be one ounce of one ounce and half an ounce of Tabasco, you know. Anyway, something like that, right? Now, I usually used to use just fajita seasoning on these uh, steaks, and uh, but recently Heath Riles sent me some of his garlic jalapeno rub, but I actually bought this one at Bucky's, but he sent me a whole bunch of his stuff. But anyway, Heath Riles' uh, garlic jalapeno rub has now become my favorite for these kind of fajitas, and I thought, you know what? This is easy, but let's do a video on it garlic jalapeno rub. All right, so we're going to use an onion, maybe two. I'm going to cut them up. All right, and we're going to use a poblano pepper. Poblano peppers for fajitas, not bell peppers. Those are for gringo fajitas and uh, Philly cheesesteaks. Poblanos. So I'm going to cut these up, cut that up. We'll season the meat up and we'll get going. Thanks for watching. Big Lou Barbecue. All right, well, they marinated in that soy and lime marinade for about two hours. I want to pull them out of the zip top bag I had them in, and I want to pat them dry with paper towels, all right? And the reason I'm doing that is just because I want to get, you know, a good sear on there like that. Right there, I'm pointing out the way the grain is running. You want to notice the way the grain's running, so that's how you slice them. It's easy to remember with these bottom round steaks. That Heath Riles barbecue and seasoning garlic jalapeno rub is going to be my go-to fajita season from now on. It's much more versatile than just a fajita season but it is really good on these things. All right, I cooked up 10 flour tortillas. These are just store-bought tortillas. I didn't make them myself. And then I will put a little too much cooking grade olive oil. That's not extra virgin olive oil. That's the cooking grade for sauteing and stuff in, in the bottom of the skillet. And I'm just gonna lay these round steaks in there and let them cook. Now these thin round steaks, they did cup up a little bit. I probably should have used a baking press or something to keep them a little flatter on the bottom but they kind of cupped up like when you fry bologna. And as you can see, I didn't get a good sear on all parts of the bottom, but that's all right. Now, it, when you're making a cooking video and you're cooking at the same time, sometimes things don't always go perfect. And I overcooked those steaks a little bit. I was looking for a medium well. You don't want to cook them medium rare because they will be tough because it is bottom round steak. All right, so the two onions and three poblanos go into the uh, skillet with the drippings and the fond and everything from the steaks and then i put on some more of that garlic jalapeno rub just to make it a little more delicious than they are already going to be stir them around a little bit and then as i stir them you know i'm cutting up the steak here and a couple of them were well done but this one here was medium uh the medium well like i wanted it to be because they're going to cook a little bit when we throw them back in a skillet here in a minute so just kind of slice them up and then i uh, get them back into that skillet you want all those juices to go in there that steak drippings that anjou whatever you want to call it all right you want that to go into the pan too get all the uh, pieces of that steak into it 
and then stir them around a little bit to get them kind of mixed up and get all the flavors mixed in with the onions and peppers. I don't like to overcook the peppers too much, but if you want them cooked down the mush, you just cook them as long as you want them cooked, all right? And then I turn the heat off and then we are ready to serve. So grab yourself one of those hot flour tortillas that you kept in a tortillera or a Dutch oven or however you keep your tortillas hot. Put it on there and put what you want to on it. There's a little bit of uh, crema mexicana, the agria, the Mexican sour cream, and a little Mexican style hot sauce. You can use Cholula or whatever you like. That's Tapatio, El Yucateco is good too. That's all I need on my fajita right there. Let's do a taste test. These are good. Make fajitas like this a lot. But since getting that uh, Keith Rouse garlic jalapeno rub at a Bucky's about a month or so ago after meeting him up in Salt Lake City, uh, this stuff is good. He's also sent me a lot of a season since then. I want to thank Keith Riles for that. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you too, sir. Anyway, fajitas with that garlic jalapeno rub. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, they're going to be good because I eat them a lot and I've eaten them a lot in the past month. Our field skillet does a fantastic job with this too. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Mm -hmm.